Hello and welcome to GameStorm PCs. My name is Rob and today we're going to be doing an unboxing, installation and review of the H100i GTX from Corsair. As you can see here, the front of the box features a simplistic design which is a large image of the liquid cooler and the name of it written in red and grey text in a large but simple font. Around the back of the box, we can see that the dimensions of the products are shown with an image to accompany it, as well as the contents of the box with a brief description as to what they are. To open the box, you need to pull the large tab from the right side of the box, and then pull the whole thing open. The things that are included in the box are these two Corsair fans, which are grey, with a black outlining, as you can see here. They also include any mounting brackets, screws and standoff and also a Corsair Link cable in order to use the Corsair Link software to change the colour of the LED on the CPU block and also the whole liquid cooler itself. Now, as you can see here, this is me booting my computer for the first time after the whole installation. Okay, recording. The first boot up. Here we go! Here we go! And something is catching that fan. Oh, it's alright now. Uh, the Corsair thing's lo loading up. Right, now turn it off again and we'll um, hook it all up. Now hook it all up into your proper setup. Now, that sound you could hear was actually the sound of a cable catching on one of my other fans. I didn't actually have anything to do with the cooler itself. After returning my computer to its usual location in my setup, me and Ollie realised that I actually mounted one of the fans the incorrect way. So one was pushing air through the radiator and one was pulling air through the radiator, which was the wrong setup, so I had to unplug it all and reinstall that fan in the correct position. But after doing all of this, my computer was up and running at cool temperatures and the liquid cooler was doing its job really well. Unfortunately, not long after this installation, my power supply decided to blow up. However, this had nothing to do with the new installation and was just because I was incredibly unlucky. However, now I'm running a HX750i in my system and everything is running smoothly. However, that is essentially it. This liquid cool performs really well with it only allowing my CPU to get to a maximum of 45 degrees and idles at only 9. And considering I have an AMD FX8350, that is great performance. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe and also check out our social media and website through the links below in the description. That's all from us, we'll catch you in the next video.